Okay, I'd like to show you how I mounted this uh, mower blade sharpener. It is by the company called All American Sharpener. And they are out of Haskins, Ohio. H-A-S-K-I-N-S. I elected to go to the company and pick this up since um, I didn't live that far from them. So uh, I picked this up from their factory in Haskins. This video is not going to be about it demonstrating its use. There's plenty of that, plus the company has that on their website. But I just came up with a different way of mounting it in which uh, it is extremely portable and you don't have to have it uh, anything permanently anchored to a uh, bench or anything. I also want to show you a little bit about the construction here, which I think is fantastic. Now this thing is not necessarily cheap but the construction is impeccable I mean I'm real picky and this thing is very well made these stainless steel arms are three eighths, three eighths of an inch three eighths of an inch thick one inch wide again stainless steel this plate is it's stamped out. You can see the breakout here on this side. It is quarter inch thick stainless. And they use 3 8 inch stainless steel mounting bolts for that. They supply the 3 8 inch diameter holes here. And all the anodized aluminum that you see here is half inch thick. Again, not, not a cheap unit, but very well made. Very happy with it. Something else that I think is really interesting, the way they did this. This locking knob, I guess you could call it, that you would use when you put your blade in here. The blade is held, ca is held captive underneath these uh, countersunk bolts, 5 sixteenths, which is also a very clever way of doing this and it works out great according to the website uh, these the top of the head is three hundred thousandths from the top of the head to the bottom of this uh, bottom of that plate so when you wanna you put your blade in and you wanna anchor it you gotta move this as required to jam up against the blade and they're using this uh, handle which is like a screwdriver handle and it really is effortless. You put your blade in there and just give it a little nudge and it's secure. Now, as you can see here, I bought the model 5005 and it's got this movable head and to lock it, it just has this knob on the back. Simply just loosen it up and the click stops at the proper degrees this is your indicator the corner of that block is your indicator when you get it where you want it simply just tighten it like that and it is secured so you can see it's got these little milled pockets that a spring-loaded ball is received into. And if, if you look here, you can see right there, well, the ball is lifted up right there and then received in each pocket. Just a beautiful design. This whole thing is well executed. And like I said, it's not cheap, but I'll tell you what, it does the job. It's re really a nice unit. 
you do get an excellent instruction manual and uh, again the company has uh, videos on how to use it so what I wanted to do was have this unit to where this plate was permanently attached to this and th uh, have this attached to something that I could put in a vise that when I want to use this, this will go into a vise jaw, use it, sharpen the blades and when you're done pull the whole thing out. It's all one unit. I don't have to do anything else and then uh, put it away. So here was the simple solution. This is a piece of three inch by three inch by quarter inch thick aluminum and I located that plate within the center it's six inches wide located that and then to get those holes transferred instead of guessing I used a transfer punch and was able then to transfer the holes from the sharpener unit and locate them and then just take and drill out at those two locations So this is how simple it is. This is a transfer punch and it's not to be used like a center punch. You just lightly tap it and then you can use a center punch to, to uh, make the, uh, the, the, the mark you made a little deeper. So all I did was once this was clamped onto the aluminum when I knew where I wanted it, put the uh, transfer punch in here, tap it, put it in this hole, tap it and uh, that was the easiest way to get a very accurate location and this is what it looks like when it's anchored using 3 8 socket head cap bolts put washers on both sides and then used uh, nylock nuts So now this whole unit can be put into a vise, sharpen your blades as required. When you're done, pull the whole thing out and store it away. So let's see this thing. Put it in a vise like that. And it's ready to uh, do its thing. So with the unit uh, clamped in a vise like you see here, here's my one of the blades to my Kubota BX2380 and as you can see it's thick, it's quarter inch and with these 300 thousands it works out beautiful put it right in there like that I would attach my grinder and do my thing when I was all done grinding all my blades that I would need all I'd have to do is take it back out of the vise like this and simply put the whole thing away and I'm done next time I need it put the thing back into a vise and it's, and it's ready to go now this grinder 
is a four and a half inch uh, Milwaukee that I bought back in the 80s. I've had this thing forever. And even at that old, the guide pin that they give you, because they give you four, this guide pin is the correct one for this Milwaukee grinder. At that old, this thing worked great. So they give you four, and um, I was able to get, you know, use this one on a unit that old. So I'm sure what they give you should work uh, with something that you have. I think what I'm going to do, though, is buy a cheap $50 or so grinder and have it dedicated to this blade sharpener. And uh, I'll get a uh, toolbox, small box, and put the grinder, the grinder and this grinding fixture all in one box. So uh, when I'm ready to sharpen blades, I can just pick the box up. Everything will be in there. So I still like using this for all my heavy-duty grinding and, and, and whatnot. So I'll just buy a cheap one, $50 or so, and that'll work out great to, uh, to work with that uh, blade sharpener.